I just want to do a quick walkthrough of an electric brake controller installed on a Tesla Model X. This uh, particular model, it's a 2017. Um, I'm sure it's the same for all of them that have a towing package. Um, so I haven't seen too much online. Uh, I've read a few articles. I haven't seen any videos, though. I figured this would help anybody who had any questions about where to hook into uh, the brake controller. So if you go to the footwell over here, you'll locate the OBD2 port, which really doesn't do anything on an electric vehicle. That's going to be right here. I want to, I've already pre-loosened this panel, but be careful when you pull this down. And you'll see this white connector there. This is the brake controller connector. And if your vehicle has a towing package, you will have the corresponding pigtail. Usually they just throw it in the trunk for you. And then you have to wire it to whatever brake controller you have. I have a Tecancha P3, and I use it in my other vehicles, so I have a couple different harnesses in each vehicle, so I can just swap the controller from vehicle to vehicle based on need. I actually bought this harness. Um, this is a P3 harness for an Explorer. It was really the cheapest one I could find on Amazon, it was maybe $10. Um, and you'll see it has the corresponding uh, Ford connector. So I just cut it off because we're not going to use it. And then wired it to the Tesla pigtail. What's nice about the Tesla one is that all of the wires are labeled exactly. If I can get to focus, there we go. So the white one would be the, the 12 volt um, from your brake switch when you hit the brakes. Red is 12 volt battery. The blue is the output to the actual trailer brakes. Again, it's hard for this thing to focus. There we go. Trailer brakes. And actually, black's not labeled, but that is the ground, vehicle ground. Now, you see the colors are all the same for my brake controller. That's, you know, don't, don't just zoom through it and match the colors, because it's not all the same. Each controller is different. And so my controller gives you a pin out of what does what. So uh, blue, blue does go to blue um, for my particular setup. But the white goes to red and black goes to, I forget where it is, black goes to white. So it's not, you know, for color sake, it's not going to make sense. But be sure you follow the manufacturer's um, pin outs for the harness. Okay, so let me just see if we can plug this in. And I can show you the controller. It powers up. Okay. There we go. Now I don't have a trailer hooked up to it, so it's going to fault out when I hit the um, manual brake. But you can hear it clicking. No trailer connected, I don't know. But there you go, it works. Cool. So I just wanted to do a little video on where this location is for the uh, the trailer brake hookup. Because I haven't like I said, I haven't seen too many videos on it. Um, I'm gonna spare you where I'm gonna mount it, just because that's so subjective to whoever, you know, to personal preference. I'm probably get, going to end up putting it somewhere right here where it's not really gonna be in the way. Uh, and I'm not I'm really going to try not to fasten it with screws. I know the wife wouldn't really like that. I think I'm just going to use 3M. Uh, not like typical 3M. It's uh, it's more like you'd see for your iPass, like the, the clear ones. They hold really, really well. So I think I'm going to just fasten them right under here and see if that works. Like I said, it's not like, it's not like we're towing every day with this, but, you know, when you have a 3,000-pound trailer... And then you add some some heavy stuff onto it, you're going to need an electric brake controller. So that's the location for the harness, and uh, you can mount it wherever you'd like. Um, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to put them below, and I'll try to respond to them. Thanks for watching.